to. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an operational Minecraft server. The only way, if you haven't played Minecraft very often or are just trying to get into it, the only way to actually have a server is to buy Minecraft, which I think is like $26 or something. But, um, yeah, what you're going to want to do is, uh, you know, go to Minecraft.net. You're going to want to go to download over here, and you're going to want to download this file, minecraftserver.exe. Whenever you get that, just open its file destination, uh, which mine is right here, and then on your desktop, right click, go to new, and make a folder, call it servers, mm. server, sorry. After you make server, you're going to want to drag Minecraft server into it. What you're going to see is this. There's not going to be any fancy files or anything in there. You're going to you're going to want to run it like this. Just double click. First time you run it, it's going to load slowly. But every time after that, it'll run very fast. This is the beginning of making your server. There we go. Right now the server is up, but only I can go to it. The only way to uh fix that is to realize the mysteries of life. What you're going to want to do is click, is uh, type stop and then just enter. That'll stop and save the world. Oh, look what you got. You have all these things. What you're going to want to do before you mess with anything here, you're going to want to go back to Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Mozilla, whatever. Um... I'll have a link to all this in the description if you need it. Um, you're going to want to get Hamachi. I'll just leave that there. Once you get Hamachi, you're going to want to open it. Once you open it, you're probably going to have a screen where you have to register and stuff. So just get all that through. Uh, pause the video till all that's done, I guess. And um, once you have all that, it's going to pop up a screen that looks like this, with your IP and everything. What you're going to want to do is click Network, and then you want to go to Create New Network. That's going to pop up a screen that looks like this. In order to make the network, it has to have a name that no one else in the world has. So you'll have to be pretty creative. And uh, the password can just be whatever. I don't think there's restrictions on that. But after you've done all that, it should pop up a you know little subcategory, uh, like the one that you see here below my uh, IP and stuff, my name. What you want to do is, uh, on your IP, right-click it and go to Copy Address, or like Copy IP Address. Uh, for some computers, it won't say that. It'll say Copy IPv4 Address and Copy IPv6 Address, like what it does here. You're going to want to copy the IPv4 address. That's the one that uh, matters. Then... Once you've done all that, go to server, right here. The bottom one, I believe, is what it'll always be. What you're going to want to do is click it, and then right-click it, so that it uh, is uh, specifically for this file. Go to open with, and choose notepad. Once you do that, you're going to see all this stuff. Uh, oh, by the way, I'll just explain how to do the server, and then I'll explain all this other stuff. 
uh, right here where it says server IP you'll we'll probably have to look for it but where it says server IP you're gonna wanna click go control and V that will paste whatever you've copied and if you don't wanna do that you can just you know paste it however and then once you're done with that make sure this is on true I think it needs to be I'm not sure but um, I guess if I'm wrong on that you can just change it to false afterward but after you do that you're gonna wanna click save and exit instead of just exit and then just you know start up minecraft log in I'm not actually gonna go to the server but you know you'll m you have always if you want to be in your server you need to make sure this is open because this is the server so yeah you'll just go here multiplayer you go to go add server then you know it'll just pop up there forever and that is how you make your own minecraft server if I missed anything my bad but I don't think I did now to explain the rest of this stuff here banned IPs is just you know if you have banned a player a lot and somehow they just keep getting back with different accounts ban their IP and they'll never be able to join again ops is basically uh, VIPs uh, admins I think just people who are amazing server is you know stuff and whitelist I'm not too sure in the comments section somebody uh, somebody write what it is and then I guess everyone will thumb it up or I'll reply so it's at the top alright now in server there's a lot you can edit besides just your server IP you can go to MOTD which means message of the day and make it whatever you want you can make it where it doesn't generate structures, you know. Oh, and you have to use true or false here. There's no off or on. You can customize your level name, the port, whatever that is. You can allow flight. Uh, somewhere in here, I think there's God mode. You can customize a seed. You can turn off PvP, which is player versus player. So if you don't want to be killed by people, you can do that. You can enable a texture pack. Uh customize the difficulty max players if you're running off of a computer you don't want too many people in there so I'd say like um, make your max at like five or ten unless you have like a really really great computer in that case you know have at what however you many you want and then once you're done editing always click save and exit always and that is how you make a server. I'll uh, include detailed, uh, not really detailed, but I'll include words in the description, just a step by step if you didn't, you know, understand this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If this helped you out, please thumb and uh, maybe subscribe. I don't know if I'm going to make any more tutorials in the near future, but if you need any help or anything, I'm not the smartest guy, but, you know, I have Google. So, yeah. So, YouTube, thank you for watching and goodbye.